So you're thinking about getting either a Maine Coon or a Ragdoll Cat and wondering which breed is right for you. I am the Cat Butler, and today we will discuss the similarities and differences between a Maine Coon and a Ragdoll Cat. So where did Maine Coon cats originate from? Some legends say that the Maine Coon is a cross between a cat and a raccoon. But that has been disproven. What we do know is that the Maine Coon is a Native American long-haired cat that was first recognized as a breed in Maine, where it is named the official cat of the state. Maine Coon cats developed into sturdy, working cats suited to the harsh winters and varied seasons of the Northeast region. And were great hunters too. In contrast, the docile loving ragdoll was developed fairly recently. The first ragdolls were bred in the 1960s by Ann Baker in Riverside, California. The ragdoll breed consisted almost entirely of free roaming cats. Ann bred Josephine a domestic long-haired white female that was found running loose in her neighborhood to other cats she owned or found. The offspring of this female had unique temperament traits that were very endearing. By selecting individuals with the look, temperament, and criteria she wanted for her breeding program, Anne created the Ragdoll breed. Ragdolls and Maine Coons have very similar personalities. They both act like puppies. They're intelligent, playful, and thrive on connection with their human families. Docile, gentle, and sweet, they're both great for small children or making friends with other pets in the household. Like dogs, Maine Coon and Ragdoll cats will greet you at the door when you come home. Oh, hello, Timo and Arya. Ragdoll cats will also come across a little needier than a Maine Coon cat. They'll try to sit on your lap, ask to be held, look for a cuddle session, or sleep next to you while you work. Most Maine Coons, on the other hand, really enjoy being close to you, but prefer to keep their distance. As a result, they'll be next to you, but not on your lap. If you like Timo's cat bed, you can go to my cat store, thecatbutler.co. The store sells beautifully designed cat products that use high quality materials. I'll link it in the description below. In terms of appearance, Maine Coon cats come in 75 different color combinations. Just for pattern alone, it could be solid, bicolor, tabby, smoke, shaded, and more. Then throw in the colors like white, black, brown, gray, blue, and cream, and the combinations are endless. Two of the rarest Maine Coon colors are shaded silver and gold. The color looks gorgeous, but because of its rarity, it is quite expensive. Ragdoll cats, on the other hand, have gorgeous blue eyes and come in four main patterns, bicolor, Fan, Mitted, and Color Point. These patterns also appear in six major colors. Seal, Blue, Chocolate, Lilac, Red, and Cream. My cats Timo and Arya are cream bicolor ragdolls. All ragdoll kittens are born completely white and their color becomes more evident by eight to 12 weeks. One last difference is that Maine Coons have strong rectangular jaws, while ragdolls have gently rounded ones. A Maine Coon has medium to long hair with a thick undercoat and a lighter outer coat. They can have a shaggy, wild look, especially if their fur is wavy. On the other hand, a ragdoll has a semi-long coat that is plush and silky with little to no undercoat. Another cool feature of a Maine Coon's coat is its water resistance. This enables the cat to trudge through snow or even swim across water comfortably. How cool is that? If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner. So please join us. 
Both Maine Coon and Ragdoll cats are known as the Gentle Giant. That is because they are huge, friendly cats. Maine Coon males typically weigh between 15 to 25 pounds, while females weigh between 10 to 15 pounds. Ragdolls, on the other hand, are a little smaller. Ragdoll males weigh between 15 to 20 pounds, and females weigh 10 to 15 pounds. This makes Maine Coon males the one with the largest potential and weight. In terms of height, Maine Coons tend to be taller at around 10 to 16 inches tall, compared to ragdolls at 9 to 11 inches tall. Lengthwise, both breeds are typically between 35 to 40 inches. Timo doesn't like me disclosing his size. Ragdoll cats live for a very long time. On average, the lifespan of a ragdoll cat is 15 to 20 years old. Maine Coon cats live on average 12 to 15 years old. Owners can help improve the lifespan of a cat by feeding your cat a high quality raw meat diet, giving your cat some exercise like with the wand toy, neutering and spaying your cat, and providing the best medical care. If you want to learn more tips on how to make your cats live longer, I'll link the video in the description below. Unfortunately, both Ragdoll and Maine Coon cats have breed-specific diseases to watch out for. They include hypotrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM. It is the most common cardiac disease in cats. Affected cats are at risk of sudden cardiac death due to defects in the heart. The heart wall thickens, thereby decreasing the heart's efficiency and causing symptoms in other parts of the body. In Ragdoll and Maine Coon cats, the condition is inherited due to breed-specific mutations. To reduce the chances of having HCM, reputable breeders test the parents for the HCM mutation and remove affected cats from the breeding pool. Hip dysplasia is a loosening of the hip ligaments, which causes the femur to get dislodged from the hip joint. This is common in large-sized cats, but Maine Coon cats are more susceptible to it. PKD or polycystic kidney disease is another hereditary disease, which causes the development of small benign cysts on the cat's kidneys. While this is not a lethal disease, it can put a significant strain on the cat's kidney function. The disease is more common in Maine Coon cats. This can be diagnosed with a simple ultrasound or genetic test. To reduce the chances of having PKD, reputable breeders test the parents for the PKD mutation and remove affected cats from the breeding pool. If you want to test your cat for HCM or PKD, the UC Davis Veterinary School provides highly accurate genetic tests. I'll link it in the description below. A purebred ragdoll and Maine Coon cat is not cheap. Due to the high demand for pets during the pandemic, prices have gone up. In the US, ragdoll kittens from a reputable breeder registered with the TICA can cost from $1,800 to $4,000, depending on the quality and pattern of the cat. A show quality cat usually costs more than a pet quality cat. While Maine Coon kittens from a reputable breeder range from $2,000 to $4,000, depending on the color and pattern. Costs can also go up in high cost of living areas, like Los Angeles or New York. Familiarizing yourself with the Ragdoll and Maine Coon breed is a very important step in buyer protection. Breeding Ragdoll and Maine Coon cats responsibly and ethically requires time and money. So err on the side of caution when the price of a kitten is too low. Avoid backyard breeders as they can sell you a sick cat. I hope you got to know the similarities and differences between the Maine Coon and Ragdoll breed. If you thought this video was helpful, please give the video a like. Comment down below which breed do you prefer, Maine Coon or Ragdoll?